So I went viral on TikTok. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Francis. This is my YouTube channel. So the past three days, I would say, have been very... Ooh, pinag-isipan ko talaga gawin tong video na to. Like reacting to everything that has been happening the past few days. But I told myself and I realized I had to clear my head. I had to, you know, quote-unquote, let the dust settle. Because my thought process is if I created that video opening up like I am now, a day after the backlash, I would be saying bullshit. I would be saying bullshit because hindi pa ako okay nun. I was vulnerable, big on my emotions. Siyempre, you, you say things that you don't mean because of course you're hurt, you, you feel sudden bursts of emotions kung hindi ka pa nakapag-reflect, hindi mo pa nabag-isipan yung um, ginawa mo, yung gusto mong gawin. Here I am now, making this video. Because I believe that I have cleared my head. Of course, I'm not saying that I'm completely over it. But basically, I'm here to tell you my mindset now. I've been doing this for about uh, four years mostly on YouTube. So TikTok, I just started this year. You know, I never really got that much engagement besides from friends, families. And yeah, it never really led to anything. But then TikTok started to, you know, boom. At first, I was skeptic about it because, you know, TikTok started as a channel na, you know, puro sayaw, may magayong content ko. So why would I do my content here when I can do it on my YouTube? But then, nung tumagal, became a source of um, entertainment. And then I said to myself, if I'm not gonna try to create content on TikTok, maybe I would regret it. So basically, fast forward, now I'm creating TikTok videos. I started a few months ago. Um, this year lang, but yeah, a few months ago I started and then enjoyed the format because compared to YouTube, you know, TikTok is just quick videos na mas madaling i-edit kasi mas maiksi eh. I was uploading consistently. I was enjoying the process of creating TikToks, posting almost every day talaga. And I get some comments, um, some positive, you know, the negative, not really that much. Yeah, I just kept posting positive, negative comments. I never really changed the content that, that I had. I wanted to show outfits of mine, and, you know, hopefully you get inspiration from me. And then fast forward to that viral video. It was a normal day, time to create a TikTok video. So it was a normal day, and then I uploaded it, and then, for some reason, I was watching it. Tapos sabi ko, Oh, parang ang bilis dumami yung views. Sabi ko sarili ko, Oh wow, is this the start of it? This is finally the time wherein people will um, notice my content, you know, my hard work, always posting content and constructing new ideas. Nagkaroon ako ng sense of fulfillment. Sabi ko, Shit, ang dami ng views. And then natutuwa ako. And then sabi ko, Oh, ang dami rin comments. So I checked the comments. If you've seen that video, grabe. Grabe yung comments, you know, pinagtawanan. A lot of people bashed me. That was very difficult to comprehend. Siyempre masakit, not just because sinihate ka ng mga tao. It hurt because pinaghihirapan mo yun. Creating content, me being happy with my outfits. I almost stopped posting on YouTube, on TikTok. Sabi ko, hindi ko to kaya. I knew that one of these days, it was bound to happen na magkakaroon ng hate. But I never anticipated it to be, you know, that much. But I said, Gab, think about why you did this in the first place. Why you started. It's my passion. I got new followers. I got new people looking at my content. I got genuine people who wants to see me do better. Why should I drown myself in the hate comments when I can listen to other comments who suggested good advice that could help improve my content? Why will I stop doing my content? because of hate when I can just do better content. And then like I said in sa TikTok video ko, I think the haters. But I'm thanking them because kung wala yung haters, I wouldn't have found this new drive that I have to improve, to show na, no, I, I can do better. I needed that hate para magising. Magising ako sa katotohanan. Social media, there's always room for improvement and I will continue doing that. I don't even know if you guys reached this part of the video, yung friends ko, my, my family, everyone who cares about me, cared about me. Doon ako magkofocus sa mga taong gagaling ka. Sa mga taong susuportahan ka. And I'm glad I did. And I'm glad I switched off my mindset. If you made it this far, hopefully you enjoy. Again, I'm Francis. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Spread positivity.